Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to cover the mutate and denim function from the DeepPair package. Before that, please make sure you have DeepPair package installed in your system. If it is already installed, please call it using the library function. So it's there in my environment now. For the mutate function, say I have an existing data set, air quality. Air quality has information about ozone, solar, winter, wind, temperature, month, day. So if I want to add a new column to this existing uh, data set, then the mutate function is very helpful. How? Say I want to mutate the air quality data set and I want to add one more column having the mean of all the temperature that has been recorded so far. So for that, I'll write the new column name which would be all mean temperature. It can be anything as per your liking and then mean of temperature. So what I've done here, so I told the muted function in the air quality data set, evaluate the temperature uh, mean from the temperature column. So the column name I need to mention, suppose the temp over here. So the mean function is an inbuilt function in R. It will evaluate the temperature and then will assign it to the new variable called as all mean temperature. Let's see. See, there is a new column by all mean temperature as per our uh, requirement and the mean is being evaluated which is 77 point. You can also round off this figure using the round function from R. I would leave that to you. Also, the you can also add multiple columns in one go using the mutate function. Also, you can create columns that depend on each other. Let's see another example. So we'll, uh, we can append the same example. See in this one example, uh, I'm telling it to create a mean as well as I want the difference from temp minus all mean temp. So what it does is yeah so what is it, what it will do is it will create a new column all mean 10 as well as there will be another new column by the name difference or I can give the name difference per day so for each case recorded you'll have temperature minus of mean and that will be assigned to difference per day variable. Let's see the result. So here, the new data set that we have has mean of temperature as well as the difference per day. For example, the, if you see the first row, the temperature recorded is 67, <clears throat> the mean is 77 and the difference is minus 10. So, in the second day, same for the 72 temperature, it is it differs from the mean temperature by 5 days. So you get a negative values as well as positive values as well. So that's how the muted function works. Now we can quickly discuss the rename function. As the name suggests, the rename function helps in renaming a variable in a data frame. Say we have an existing database data set called empty cars. In this we have details of the of all the cars. Uh, you can also do names empty cars which will tell which will give you the names of all the columns over here. So if, suppose if you want to rename the cylinder column over here. So all you have to do is call your rename function give the data set name in this case empty cars and give the new name which will replace the existing 
name. So if you see over here, the new name will be cylinder which will replace sil. If you see the cylinder, the sil is being replaced with cylinder now. So that is all about mutate and rename function. I would recommend you to refer to my other videos as well to know more about other DPI functions and other packages in R. Thank you.